So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, USA. Hound Dog. And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. He don't care what, what John, he got. John, what it doesn't matter. John, it doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's diff different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grapple this guy. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Oh, collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Nice. 
caught that kick there. Able to check that kick as well. Look at the turtle in that kick. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. And he caught the kick, we'll see what he can do with it. All right, single collar tie now. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, he's gonna set the body off. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Pretty good knee to the body by Lee. Big elbow lands on the side of the guard. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Keep your hands up. Throw that hook. Single collar tie now. Great punch landing with so much power. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And they separate. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee of the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big leg kick land. Oh, single collar tie here. Punch coming, it's blocked. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Big head kick lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Huge knee lands for clinch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. There's no tell on that leg kick. Ooh, blocks the shots. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That's a big strike right there. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Switching stances here. Back to orthodox. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Just notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Boom! Big jab. Big kick land. Back and forth we go. Came from inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Nice, sneaky head kick. Blocks the shot. Big knee. Combinations here. Beautiful strike. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Blocks the strike. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to him. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fall. Beautiful hand skills here, the right then the left. Big kick lands. Now connects with the right. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Relax, relax. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, suddenly, he'll change his stance. Ooh, big shot lands. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Head kick lands. Got a single collar tie. Oh, a huge block there. Lands with the right hand. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Nice oh! Great fight. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Both guys landing big shots. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. 
but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice defense there. Huge block. Big punch lands to the middle. Liver kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. All right, side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Lee. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Put your hands up higher. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Man, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Nice loop and punch. Big leg kick land. He's able to slip the leg. Trying to establish that jab once again. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Woo! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. I will take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 32 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud.